When you constrain an object to a path, the object is moved with its pivot point aligned to the starting point of the spline. You can then move the path in the scene to prevent any problems such as a car sunk underground. Once an object is constrained to a path, it moves along that path at a constant speed. This is the default setup. Sometimes you need to control timing, in this case to have the car respect red lights and avoid jaywalkers. An easy way to achieve this is to start by deleting the two keyframes that the path constraint tool created. These two keyframes represent percentage of travel along the path from 0 to 100. From that point on, turn on Auto Key Mode. Scrub along the timeline to a point right after the light turns red. As you move the car to the intersection, notice that the car only moves along that path. All other directions are restricted. To make the car pause at the red light, copy the last key to a point right after the light turns green. The copy is made by pressing the Shift key and moving the keyframe along the timeline. Move the car again and make it stop before it hits the jaywalker. Make it pause again for a few frames by copying the keyframe along the timeline. Finally, move the car along the end of the path towards the end of the animation. As you play the animation, you'll notice that although the timing is right, the motion of the car is unnatural. The stop and go motion is rigid and lacks acceleration and deceleration. This can be adjusted in the curve editor. With the car selected, the curve editor can be accessed with the right click. In the curve editor, notice how linear the graph is. This is because the percent track is set to a linear float controller. With the right click, you can choose to assign a different controller type to it, this time choosing Bezier float. Now you have nice curves representing acceleration and deceleration. You can make changes to the handles to fine tune the timing. Play back the animation and notice the improvement.